My name is Mitch Chilton. I'm a sales manager for Bruker Optics. We're here at Cheese Expo in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we're here with some of our dairy analyzers. This is our Bruker Matrix F duplex inline analyzer for the dairy industry. With this instrument, you have the ability to analyze six separate measurement points using the six channel multiplexer. We have specific 3A probes for the dairy industry, emission probes for solids and semi-solid materials such as cheeses or powders or yogurts. We also have transmission probes for raw milk or whey streams for liquid analysis. This analyzer is the same FTNIR technology that we're using on our benchtop systems. And what that means is you can expect the same reliability, repeatability, and stability over time with this type of analyzer. Probes are specifically designed for the dairy industry with 3A standards in mind. Depending on where in the process we want to be able to analyze, we'll recommend a specific probe. So our transmission probes have two inch sanitary flanges. And depending on how we need to incorporate our emission head probe for cheese or powder analysis, we will either use a, a Varen line adapter or a weld-in flange option, um, depending on where in the process we need to go. This is our Bruker MPA2 dairy analyzer. The FTNIR technology that we're using will eliminate instrument drift and therefore eliminate the need to bias adjust or recalibrate the instrument on a periodic basis. With our MPA2 dairy, we're able to analyze both liquids and solid samples on the same instrument with the same software. If I open up the lid here, you can see that we've got a homogenizer pump and a peristaltic pump. What this allows us to do is to reduce the use of the homogenizer pump and therefore reduce um, the cost of maintenance of the system. So we're only pumping raw milk through the homogenizer. All other liquid samples are run through the peristaltic pump. On the integrating sphere, this is where we measure solid samples. So in this case, I have got some milk powder. But this is also where we would measure uh, cheeses or yogurts, any type of solid or semi-solid product that, you're gonna, that you would normally measure with near-infrared. We're gonna measure on the right side of the instrument on the integrating sphere. We can easily move between liquid channels and solid channels on the same software. This is our Bruker Tango R FTNIR dairy analyzer, specifically made for analyzing solid dairy products, such as powders or cheeses or yogurts. It's a single channel system, but it has the same technology as our MPA2 dairy system and the Matrix F dairy system. What that means is, again, we're gonna have a, a stable platform that's not gonna require biasing or calibration adjustment over time. And so, you're gonna have the confidence to go in, run the samples, and, and not worry about the predictions that you're getting out of them. In order to run a sample, it's very simple. Sample's gonna go in a cup on the rotator. You'll select a product on the screen and hit go. At that point, the sample will start to spin, and it spins so we're able to see all, all of the sample that's in that cup. And, and once it's done, it's gonna show your result. And that data, you have the possibility to export uh, to a central data management location uh, of your choosing. Thanks for tuning in. If you'd like to learn more about Bruker's Dairy Analyzers, please visit our website at food-analysis-nir.com or visit us at bruker.com. Thanks.